In this chapter, we're going to look at the process of creating music and sound to a movie. It's a little movie that I created, and there's not much of a plot, and when you see it, you'll understand why I'm an audio guy and not a motion graphics artist, but it will let us review a little and put some of the skills we saw earlier to work. So because I'm using video, I'll choose BWF Wave as my file type and 48K as my sample rate. So why 48K? Well, in video, it's a convention. It's a best practice. And when you use 48K, you'll have less problems with sync with files at other sample rates. So 48K. And I'll say OK. We'll call this working with video. So up pops my session. And when we want to import video, we use the same menu to import as we used for audio. And there it is down below. So in the Mac world, we call this the big three, shift, command, option, I. It's rare when we hold them all down, but that's a case where we do. And on a PC, that would be shift, alt, control, I. So just for a second, let's skip video, go back to audio. And I want to remind you that when we were interested in a piece of audio, we would click on it and Pro Tools would take a look and give us a little bit of information up here, but then more information down here, and we could actually audition it and change the volume and scrub it. And there was kind of a process to examining the audio before we imported it. Let me cancel out of that. And by contrast, if we go to video, we really just point to the movie. Notice everything else is grayed out. All these audio files can't be imported if I'm selecting a video file to import. And then when I click it, it loads the movie. This is a fairly large movie for something that's only 20 seconds long. And I can audition the movie here, but it doesn't give us as much of the detailed information about the movie as it did with the audio. But I will say OK and open, and then I have some choices to make. Let's look at location. So three choices here, really. Session start, selection, and spot. So session start means put it at the beginning of the session, whether that's simpty of zero or bar one, beat one, or however I'm measuring the time, put it at the beginning. Selection means put it where the playhead is parked now. This happens to be the beginning for me. And spot would allow me to define a particular SMPTE address, hours, minutes, seconds, frames, and have it show up at a particular spot in the timeline. I might use this if I'm importing segment two of a long TV show, and I want segment two to show up after segment one and the allotted time for the commercial break. So that's how we would use spot. Import audio from file. Well, that's fairly obvious, but it'll grab any audio from the movie and bring it in in this process. So I'll say, OK. I have had, I should tell you, some issues. There's one right there with video in Pro Tools 11 that I never had in 10 or 9. So I'm going to reinitialize the video engine and see if it behaves. This is what I'm expecting to see. So the video engine is part of your playback engine in the setup menu. It's down here at the bottom. So I'll give Pro Tools some credit here. It found an error. It found the missing connection. And it went ahead and found it again and connected it properly. And so it looks like I have a movie now in my session. I'm going to hold down the Control key. That's a Start key on a PC. And then change its size to about half of what I brought in, maybe a quarter. This is a floater window. We saw these before. It's always going to rise to the top. Even if I switch to the mix window, it's going to pop to the top. So video is a floater. So the movie shows up in this viewer. It also shows up in the timeline, in a track. You'll notice it didn't import the audio from this movie, even though I asked it to, and that's because this movie doesn't have any audio. But Pro Tools didn't tell me that. It didn't look inside the movie and say, oh, by the way, there's no audio for me to import. It just gives me the box. So don't let that one catch you. If you expect to see audio and then you don't, then go check your movie in QuickTime or Windows Media and be sure there's audio there to begin with. So let's take a look at how this movie lays out. Depending on your zoom level, and I'm going to command and bracket a couple taps to the right here, you'll see these poster frames up in the timeline. They're not exactly accurate. In other words, 
this frame? Does it happen here or there, in the middle or at the end, or where does that particular frame happen? Well, they're really just there for guidance. The viewer, on the other hand, will actually give you accurate playback as the playhead moves along. Now, usually what I do is I hide the movie track. I will hide selected tracks and then just use the viewer. But I'm going to bring it back for a second, show all tracks. From here, I want to show you the I.O. And there's a new thing, basically, in Pro Tools 11. And now we can look at the resolution and the frame rate of the movie. Now, we can't change it unless we're connected to an Avid Media Composer or some timeline where the footage actually exists. But it's there now, and it's part of the continuing evolution of Pro Tools as an Avid application. So underneath that, though, there is something that's handy. And these we can change. And depending on your video playback hardware, you'll want the top choice of full quality. If you're playing back on a separate video card, you'll want best performance if you're playing back from your host computer, like I'm doing with my laptop. So we'll leave this on best performance and click out of there. And I want to show you one more thing. If we go to Setup, Preferences, and Operation, down here in the lower right-hand corner, you can switch your video playback from your GPU, your graphics processing unit, to your CPU, your main processor. And that might help if your graphics card isn't quite as robust as your CPU. So I will leave mine here, cancel out of this. And one more potential gotcha that we saw earlier. In setup, you must have the video engine enabled in your playback engine in order to be able to see the video. Okay, the movie's in the session. We're set up for scoring, and we'll do that in the next movie.